Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go through a software called Creator AI. Creator AI is an AI copywriter. Uh, I think this product came onto the market in August 2022. I found them through the AppSumo marketplace where most of the people buy their sort of you know, lifetime deal softwares. And when I joined, when I bought this software, it was back in August. I think they've left AppSumo for two months, two, three months, and recently they've came back. What I like about Creator AI is uh, the offer that they give is an unlimited characters, unlimited words, so it doesn't matter how many words it generates for you. There is no limits to it, different from the other paid tools that are limiting to a certain, certain number of words and characters. Creator AI is very... Creator AI is very generous in terms of providing the, the outputs. And just have a look at their website. So how this works is uh, first step, go through their AI assistant, put in the right uh, template or the use case, describe the describe your product or, or short description with one to two lines, put in a keyword, and then let Creator AI do the work for you. So it'll save you a lot of time if you use their platform. So these are the founders. The founders are Simon Funk, and he are the some of the other development person and co-founder. I usually see Simon mostly on on the other sites like AppSumos or in in the Facebook community. But I've not seen any other people talk about uh, with these names inside the Facebook group. So with their normal pricing plans, you can see you've got basic, standard, and professional. Uh, character accounts, uh, it's 10, uh, 100,000, 300,000 uh, with one user for basic, two users for standard. Uh, interesting is they've, have, they've got different uh, content quality. So if you go through their uh, regular website, if you sign up with the basic, you only get uh, good content quality. But if you sign up for a standard or professional, you get great quality. So that's something you need to know. AI assistant, they call it AI assistant. Some other places call it templates and use case. I think they've now over like 20, 60, 68 or 70 plus AI assistants. They, I think one of the advantages they also have is the language. So you can write your outputs in different languages. I think they're mostly in the, the European, not the Asi Asian market. So not Chinese, not, not Japanese, Koreans. Thai, etc. So you can create them, uh, unlimited projects and documents. Uh, the list goes on and on. And I think the main difference between the last time and uh, the main dis the main difference between the last offer on AppSumo and versus this time with with the SEO capabilities. So let's look at the AppSumo deal on Creator AI. The pricing starts with eighty nine dollars for the first code uh, or the first tier, and you know they are like an alternative to Copy AI to, or Jasper. These are the sort of the dominant players on the market. These are really good for bloggers, copywriters, and marketers. So a clean interface. I will show you the interface when I log in with my account. So I just want to show you the plans. So you get lifetime access to the Creator AI platform. You get all the future standard plan update. Note that this is all uh, standard plans. And if we, if we go back to their website, all you get is the the standard plan, which is the, the middle one. You're not going to get any sort of the professional updates. So let's say today, if you sign up, you do get SEO capabilities. But next time, if they launch something in the in the professional tier, then you're not going to get those uh, additional features. All right, let's jump back to the AppSumo page. You can stack up to three codes, and then you get all these unlimited projects, outputs, translation. And then what you get is from $89, you'll get all the features above, unlimited characters, count, five active users. So if you are managing a team, you can actually create you know, four additional accounts that can work together with you. So this is a, a team's friendly a tool. And then you get the SEO capabilities. If you stack more than two, 
if you stack more than one code, you will get the surf beater. Uh, I think these are really in the area for uh, similar to Neural Writer, where you can do some sort of like content optimization. So if you don't currently have Neural Writer, then you might consider the Creator AI uh, stacking up to, to three because the three, the, the last tier, you can actually get the image generator. So you can uh, generate image with AI with a Creator AI engine. So I do like to look at if they got a, a, a active Facebook group. So you can see they got currently 800 members. Uh, they do have posts from time to time mentioned by the by the members and their website don't talk too many details and i think i've i found out more information through the facebook group so a lot of people ask uh, what is the the ai engine that they do use and usually it's either open ai gpt3 da vinci and if you just search da vinci you can you can, you'll see they will actually provide their response saying uh, which which engine they are using. So yeah, so the Creator AI did provide their feedback saying it is the DaVinci AI engine they're using. Uh, people say that the DaVinci is more expensive, so that is a good thing. I do also like to check from time to time on their roadmap. So they've got a roadmap here. Uh, for example, things they've launched, things are being planned at the moment. Okay, jumping to the, the dashboard on Creator AI. Uh, the interface is really simple. So on the left-hand side, you get all your all your tools you need on the dashboard. You will see, you will see all the different use cases, or they call it the AI system. So if you're a blogger, you want to look at all the blog intros, blog body, text summarizer, sports report. I think this is really cool one I don't see anyone using sports reports and then it can create like fictional stories uh, block outline short stories is good if you're running ads you got Facebook I think these are the, sp the standard ones this one will have like Bing as well as the index I don't think that is for like the, the Russian markets also you get the snapchat Pinterest as well pretty cool E-commerce, it can help you write like Amazon product descriptions, Shopify product descriptions, even product reviews. I think that's pretty useful. Social media is just like you no know, photo captions, Pinterest titles, LinkedIn posts, LinkedIn bio. I don't think, I think these are pretty good use case. And then the last one is the video. You get like webinar title ideas, video script outlines. I, usually I will see like, you know, video titles or video description. I don't really see like video script outline. So that's something I will try to use that. And then for write, or it's just like headlines, content improve, uh, content rewrite, uh, paraphrase content, interview questions, even resumes and job description. Or then even they got like love letters, FAQ. So there's a lot of stuff here that are quite interesting. So far, I, I've mainly used for the video titles and blogging, but I've not really explored all, all the different use cases that they have in Creator AI. So how would you start to use the, their, uh, their platform? So you can just hit AI Assistant. And then it will, it, it's pretty similar to the dashboard. Then you start picking, for example, I want to do, I want to look at the blog and I want to start with the blog outline or block idea generator. So in here, I can just put in how, maybe I'll just do a random topic, right? How to start an online business in affiliate marketing. There are some sets, so you can put in keywords. So I can put in affiliate marketing online business and expand the settings here and you can choose the creativity so i usually choose uh, optimal but then if you want to be really creative then you can choose like high max i'll stick with optimal here 
and you can choose the number of outputs so by default it's three so if you like different different outputs from from creator ai you can do so the tone of voice uh, you can put like friendly i can say it's inform informative and then if you want to put it as a particular audience like you know guys in early 20s or women in 30s you can you can you can specify that i think it's just the way they write they write the content it will just target those sort of audience but it's not really saying that's only for the you know 20 years old men stuff like that and if you want to include emojis you can you can check and uncheck i'm not going to check that so i'll hit create okay i think that took less than a minute to generate all these content and let's have a look or read it out so the following is a list of notable articles related to the field of marketing how to start an online business in affiliate marketing the benefits of affiliate marketing the risks the different types how to choose the right affiliate marketing program how to create an effective affiliate marketing campaign the do's and don'ts of affiliate marketing i think this is a pretty good outline to start off with and let's see the second one uh, affiliate marketing is a process or so it gives you the definition what is affiliate marketing what how does it work what's the benefit talks about like the you know, passive income stream access to a bigger audience so the second one is also pretty good it tells you like it does still what's the disadvantages of affiliate marketing like it requires a lot of work can be competitive risky it's not for everyone needs training that's right then the last one it's weird they start talking about stuff on dropbox and mfa 2fa these are like security related stuff so uh because creator ai allows you to create uh different projects so each project you can actually start uh uh improving the ai so because i've got cybersecurity as my project I've, I've written like some other stuff on cybersecurity it might affect the the output so if you want to create you know different niches for your blogs or articles it is probably better that you separate those articles into different projects so let me scroll back so let's say i'm happy with this one i will click on copy and then I'll go over to documents. I'll create a new document. And then I'll paste the entire content here. So we'll give it a subject. How to start an online business. With affiliate marketing. So this is going to be your H2. So let me just make these into H2 first. So let's say you've, on, you've only got like one sentence for affiliate marketing, what it is. And if you want to create AI to write more for you, you can just go to the next line and click on this like pencil button and write put, put in like normal little a lot and then it will start spitting out more content on it so let's say if i selected all these words and i want to rewrite it or if i want to pair write additional paragraph if i do press this button it will also re erase all these words and it looks like this is probably a better choice that we talk about what is affiliate marketing so that's good i'll keep this and they've got this uh, basic seo focus on keywords descriptions so they, they said no this is a good length i don't know if it's good yet so we've got like five thousand characters 800 words but probably you want a longer post for any of these They'll tell you to aim for like 1% keyword density, focus on the keyword, on the content. So I think these are good for the new on writer stuff. I don't know how, how good this one is. We'll just have to wait and see when this comes out of the, the beta. 
So let's say you're happy with this one. We can start going down and then start reviewing. If you want to write a longer article, you know, just go down here or click like improve, rewrite paragraph. Or if you want to put in like additional topics and stuff like that, click on the click on this button. I think that's the AI assistant. It's sort of like a pop-up and then choose the correct use case. In this case, it could be like block body and then put in your put in your topic any sort of like any sort of keywords you want to talk about the brand the company or the service you are trying to offer so if you're like uh, if you're doing like affiliate blocks for Amazon then put in like the actual product brand or the product name or if this is a service then just put in that company and then hit generate and that's what it does once it's done uh, click the X button here and then it'll, you'll come back to the you'll come back to the main document editing the long form editor and then of course you can manually save the document or it will also save it automatically for you so that's how you access the editor you can also hit the documents so these are all the documents that you have so since they've got all these different uh, AI systems and use cases, you can actually start making favorites on them. So for example, at the AI systems, all these ones you can put a, you can put a star on it. So it know it knows that this is now one of your favorites. And next time if you want to come in, just come into the favorites and you'll see all your, your favorite AI assistants. You can also look at the outputs. All the outputs it has generated for you. So you can actually go back to any of the previous outputs that Create AI has generated. This is the translate uh, feature that they have. So if you want to translate from you know, English to some of the other languages, I think mostly are European languages like you know, German, French, Danish, Spanish, etc. Oh, they got Japanese too. Interesting. So I've not tried this because I, I don't know any of these other languages, so I can't really tell if the translation is good. But if you are using Creator AI and you know some of the other languages and you've tried it, yeah, please leave a comment down below. So that is how our Creator AI works. It's a really you know, simple inter interface. You get like, quality outputs from, from the platform. Like I said before, if you already have like Neuron Writers, I don't think the the other getting like the additional stack will be useful but i think uh they cannot sort of sustain the business if they will allow unlimited character usage per month or unlimited characters for for like all the lifetime deal users because you you will need to have like subscription users so they can pay by monthly so you get the monthly recurring revenue instead of just one-time payments uh, it is good to get like a lot of these investments upfront, but if you don't have like users paying monthly, then the business is hard to sustain. So yeah, from from my spend from my standpoint, I do hope that they will have a limited time on AppSumo so they don't provide the unlimited deal for for everyone for, uh, for a very long time. The earlier they close the door, and then the they can continue to use the monthly subscription method to generate more rev revenue so this wraps up my video for creator ai i think it's a really good tool it gives out good quality with unlimited character accounts just for 80 89 dollars uh, it's on AppSumo. i'll leave a link down below it's affiliate link so if you do sign up i will get a commission but then there's no cost to you and then this will help me to buy more softwares to do reviews if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all my future updates. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.